Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Mechanics, Statics. In this video, I'm going to talk about scalars and vectors and vector operation. First, let me start by defining scalars and vectors. A scalar is any positive or negative physical quantity that can be completely specified by its magnitude. Examples of scalar quantities are mass, length, time, volume, temperature, and density. A vector is any physical quantity that requires both magnitude and direction for its complete description. Example of vector quantities are position, displacement, velocity, acceleration, momentum and force. A vector can be represented by a letter with an arrow over it, such as this letter. This is suitable if we are using handwriting. However, in a print vector most of the time can be represented by bold face letter such as this letter A. The magnitude of a vector can be represented by italic type such as this letter A. Well, let us take an example. This is vector A. So, the length of the arrow meaning from point O to point P represents the magnitude of the vector. The angle theta between the vector and a fixed axis defines the direction of line of action. For, for example, in this figure, 20 degree represents the direction of the line of action of vector A. The height or tip of the arrow, this one, indicates the sense of direction of the vector. Vectors operation. Well, let us first start from multiplication and division of vectors by scalars. If a vector is multiplied by a positive scalar, its magnitude is increased by that amount. If a vector is multiplied by a negative scalar, the vector change it is directional sense. For example, let us say we have vector A. If vector A is multiplied by 2, the resultant vector will be increased by amount of 2. If vector A is multiplied by negative 1.5, vector A is increased by amount of 1.5 and the direction of A will also change it. If A is multiplied by 0 0.5, as we can see, the magnitude of vector A is decreased by amount of 0 0.5. This is all about multiplication and division of a vector by scalar. Now let us see how to add two vectors or vector addition. One of the popular method to add two vectors is to use parallelogram law. In this case, we have to use certain rules to determine the resultant or to add two vectors. First, let us see how to construct the parallelogram. Let us say we have vector A and vector B in arbitrary direction. If I want to add vector A to vector B using parallelogram law, the first step is to connect vector A to vector B tail to tail, like this. Next, to construct parallel line to vector A and to vector B, like this one. Now, we have already constructed 
parallelogram shape. The next step will be to determine the resultant. The resultant vector is the distance from point O to point P. Mathematically, this can be expressed as R is equal to vector A plus vector B. Another important method to add to vectors is to use triangle rule. In a triangle rule, instead of connecting tail to tail, we have to connect the vector head to tail. For example, if I have vector A and vector B in arbitrary direction, if I want to add vector A to vector B using triangle rule, the first step is to connect the head of vector A to the tail of vector B like this. Now, this is the resultant of vector A and vector B. Mathematically, this can be expressed as R is equal to A plus B. If I want to add vector A to vector B, meaning that if I want to say R is equal to B plus A, I can connect the head of vector B to the tail of vector A like this one. Then this will be the resultant and the resultant vector is equal to B plus A. Remember that A plus B is equal to B plus A. Another special case of vector addition is if we have a collinear vectors, meaning that if I have vector A and vector B and if both vector A and vector B have the same line of action, no need of constructing parallelogram. In this case, we have to use simply algebraic expression or scalar addition to add the two vectors as we can see here this is the resultant vector r and r is equal to a plus b. Vector subtraction. How to subtract two uh, vectors using parallelogram law? Subtraction is nothing but it is a special case of vector addition, meaning that if I have vector A and vector B in arbitrary direction, if I want to subtract vector B from vector A, I have to add negative vector B to vector A, like this. This is vector A and this is negative of vector B. So let me connect negative vector B and vector A tail to tail. So this is point O. Now let us draw parallel line to vector A and vector B like this. So the resultant will be the distance from O to P. Mathematically this can be expressed as R is equal to A plus negative B. We can also use triangle rule to subtract vectors. In this case, if I have vector A and vector B, if I want to subtract vector B from vector A, it is the same as a parallelogram law. I have to first put vector A here and this is negative vector B. Negative vector B and vector A should be connected head to tail not tail to tail. So this will be the resultant vector 